payday, payday. This is Scamper VL 2841. Our position, two nautical miles southwest of Los Riscos Island. We require immediate assistance. Our controls are out. Visibility four. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the Coast Guard Station, Brands Point, Scamper VL 2841. Coast Guard Station, Brands Point, Channel 16. Your trajectory is five. Keep your course. Over. Coast Guard, please confirm. Reef right ahead. I need some help. I was attacked. I'm exhausted. There are monsters everywhere on this goddamn island. Some followed me and surrounded me on this beach. I managed to kill some of them, but look, bastards bit me. Listen, I know there are medicinal plants around here. You gotta bring me one. It should ease the pain. Please, be quick. I'm bleeding. My name's Andrew. I'm not sure how I ended up here. It's a little hazy. But this place... It's a nightmare. A living nightmare. I'm one of a small group of survivors. It's been about a week since we tried and failed to escape these islands. It seems impossible to get off. Many of us have died, devoured by these damn monsters. Right now, my friend Ramon is all I've got left. The rest are either dead or walking dead. Ramon is injured and can hardly move. I, I left him close to our boat while I went to find fuel. Please find him. Tell him that I'm injured and stuck here. You you'll find him on the beach, on the east side of the island. Listen, be careful, really careful. The island is swarming with these fucking monsters. Here, take this stick. You'll need it to survive. Ramon should be waiting for me on the beach.
Novak's Rules Introduction Greetings! If you are reading this, you are probably afraid for your life. You will be lost and hungry. And if you have not already, you will soon encounter the many zombies who live here. Please, stay positive. The situation is desperate, but not lost. Thanks to my survival guide, you will get through this. My guide is a thorough training program to help you survive the most extreme environments. It contains all you need to combat the zombies. Good luck, and see you soon, survivor! Remember, unarmed combat is useless against these monsters. Always use a weapon. Rules. Chapter 1. Close Combat. Here are some basic rules you have to keep in mind when you have to confront a monster during close combat. Use the right stick to aim. You still can move while aiming. Hold your strike to increase its damages. Press the A button when kill appears above a hurt monster to make an instant kill. Yeah. <laughs> 
Rules. Chapter 2. Healing. Fracture? Cut? Disembowelment? To be a survivor means to have injuries, yet live. So, if you get injured, and you will, do not fear. Help is at hand. The islands are full of medicinal plants to treat your wounds. Eating these plants will help you to regain your health. For more serious wounds, put the leaves in a cloth to make a poultice. Finally, I have left some presents for you. The med kits are powerful gifts. They will fully heal you in a flash. So, never give up Hi, and monsters. fight! Ha! Andrew. You met Andrew? Or is he? Oh, shit. That's terrible news. Yo, if they bit him, man, it's all over. Hi. It's only a matter of time. He's gonna turn into a monster too. Yeah, I got bit too. That's why I cut my leg off. You know, my own leg. 
I had no choice. I want out of here alive. So what about you? Have any teeth marks to declare? Oh, no. Wait, and you got here what with just a stick? I'm impressed. Listen, if Andrew's bitten, then I'm shit out of luck. You've got to help me. But look, I can, I can help you too. I know how to survive. Come on, we can work together. You and I. Here, take this. You got a whole heap of shit ahead of you. If you want to stay alive, you're going to have to use it. Comprende? Yo, it's kill or be killed. Yo, hack an attack, papa. Okay. Come, follow me. Night's about to fall, and I got a favor to ask you. Come on. Don't be shy. Rules. Chapter 3. Skills. You can upgrade your abilities throughout your trip. To do this, open your inventory and go to the Skills screen. There are many abilities that you can acquire, thanks to the experience you build up during your adventure. The first one allows you to light up campfires. <laughs> Here's the plan. Last week, on another island, we found an old air tanker. It's damaged, but we could repair it and escape. Boats can get us out of the island, but by air, that seems to be the only way out of here. Andrew's mission was to find gas for the plane. This is your job now. Problem is, night is coming, and you need to know some really freaky creatures come out only at night, along with the, with the other monsters. These... <laughs> These creatures are vile and really aggressive. They only attack when it's dark and hate bright lights, so at least you can use that against them. I'll give you my personal flashlight to go to the village, but can I ask you to light me the campfire just here?
Great. Thank you. This should be enough to keep them at bay. As promised, here's my flashlight. If they come after, aim the light at them, and they will stay away for a while. Okay? All right, good. Let's get back to the real issue, the gasoline. Before we crashed, I spotted a small village. You will find it at the top of this island. With my machete and flashlight, you should be able to find it. If there's fuel on this island, it's gonna be there. So find a jerry can, make sure it's filled, and come back. You understand? You find fuel, and you're halfway to freedom. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry. If I could run, <laughs> if I could even walk, good luck to you. Rules. Chapter 4. Survival by Night. Beware. 
Another kind of monster appears at night. There are many of these, and they are aggressive. But they hate the light. You can easily keep them at bay with a torch. Or a flashlight. When you sense night coming on, check for your flashlight. You won't want to be caught without it in the dark.
rules. Chapter 5. Bows and Arrows The bow is the simplest distance weapon you can create. And the quietest. Select a flexible branch, then combine it with a reel of twine. For arrows, combine a wooden stick with your machete. Making arrows is easy, but getting them back is even easier. So always collect them after a fight, no matter where they are stuck.
Well done. I have to say, I didn't even think you survived. I'm happy you proved me wrong, Don Diego. This can of gas should be enough to get us out of here. Shit. Look. It may be another survivor. Go see who it is. I'll prep the boat to take us to the air tanker. Don't worry. I'll be ready by the time you get back.
So you are alive! After all that commotion in the village, I expected to see you dead. But you're alive. Good! Trying to break into one of my huts was not a good idea. I think you realize this now. So, how did you end up in this living hell? Can you remember? No problem. It's the same for me. Ola Hayes. I'm Kovac. Nice to meet you. Don't be alarmed by the... Uh, Get up. Just a kind of protection, you know? I've been on these islands for several weeks. I know a little about survival. So I built a simple shelter on a neighboring island. You look a little uh, unprepared, but don't worry. Jump in my boat. I will teach you some basic rules of survival. You'll be dead for sure without them. No offense. 